The PEMA is a noble royal initiative of Her Majesty the Gelsin, with Health Minister Dasha Dichungwomo as its chairperson. Her Majesty said that mental health will be given national priority that it deserves. The PEMA will be the apex body and take a role of nodal agency to promote mental health and well-being of Putinese people. The PEMA, Human being has the potential to blossom. And like the Pema, Dito Pema, that it comes out of adversity that blooms into a beautiful flower that we worship, we admire. Oh, I'm going say so. Tim the Pema said, uh, His Majesty gave us the name. We need more specialized services in the form of family counseling, relationship counseling, uh, occupational therapists, and more of psychiatric and other mental services even uh, prevention specialists. So uh, we are also in the uh, process of developing an HR plan uh, for uh, the PEMA Center. And even in the schools, we were encouraging principals not to sensationalize, not to glamorize and to glorify suicide incidents, etc. Yeah. And <laughs> On the prevention and early education aspect, uh, institute anti-bullying programs and mechanisms in schools, colleges, and institutes. Uh, bullying administratively, the data is less because uh, it's not prioritized on, on, on collecting data on these things. Uh, but according to survey, in the schools, 27% of the young people are experiencing bullying. And according to another individual research carried out, in collaboration with some of the institutes outside, uh, just found that 36% of the young people in the colleges experience bullying. Um, so what is the PEMA? Yes, so in harmony with Her Majesty's noblest of intentions, the PEMA is an emblem of purity, divinity and strength, which are the admired characteristics of a lotus, which blossoms virtuously even from the murkiest of water. Just as it denotes spirituality, the Pema manifests the profound aspirations of Her Majesty for the well-being and happiness of every precious life. Why mental health? To know this, let us uh, look at a brief background of how the Pema was instituted. The Hema Gane Madhubeka Sem Kamthetin Kidenle Gatye La Mabina Gane Gane Madhubina Te Devara there were activities being done, services in place, and interventions in place. For example, MOH had mental health program, MOE was providing counselors to schools, then we had psychiatric services and counseling <coughs> services in the GDW, then we have NCW, uh, NCWC, and many other CSOs who were providing services related to mental health in their own way. And not only the ones listed here, but also other, uh, many other institutions and agencies who were directly or indirectly 
uh, contributing to uh, the benefit of mental health. But what was not there was there was no coordination and collaboration among these various agencies who were providing similar services, which was leading to inefficiency, duplication, and a lot of gap in the services. So what is the BEMA doing? Like I heard that you are carrying out some sensitization program and why? Yes. So we have already finished uh, sensitizing on the PEMA to the National Council, the National Assembly, uh, heads of all the ministries. Then we had the CSOs. Today we had the um, med uh, media fraternity. And um, on the coming uh, days, we will uh, have this sensitization. We will be doing this sensitization to the judiciary as well. So as to why the sensitization, one of our core mandates is multi-sectoral collaboration and coordination. So uh, this sensitization contributes to that mandate because although uh, till now there were a lot of um, agencies who were providing relevant services and doing similar activities which contributed to the benefit of mental health, um, there was a lack of coordination and collaboration among these agencies which was leading to inefficiency, a lot of duplications and a lot of gaps in the services lab. So how does the PEMA function? So overall the institution will, will, is known as the PEMA with noble guidance from Her Majesty the Gelsin. Mm -hmm. Under the PEMA we have the PEMA board with Honorable um, Health Minister as the chairperson comprising of uh, six members uh, in total. The PEMA board will um, look up, uh, guide the overall functioning of the PEMA. So under the PEMA board, we have the PEMA Center Secretariat, which is the office that looks after coordination, collaboration, planning, advocacy, uh, policy formulation aspects. And under this PEMA Center Secretariat, the office, we have uh, three divisions plus support services. The divisions are Violence Prevention and Response Division, Substance Use Prevention and Care Division, Self-Harm Prevention Division, and the support services include legal, administration, finance, IT. The other one under the PEMA board is the PEMA Center, which will look after all the mental health related services in our country, which includes the PEMA Center, the 60 bedded hospital, yeah. which is purely focused on providing mental health services. Then others are rehabilitation, um, halfway homes and helpline services. Today, during the sensitization program to media fraternity, Mijie said, human being has the potential to blossom like Mito PEMA, Lars Flower, despite humans coming out of the adversity, like lotus, which blooms into a beautiful flower that we worship and admire.